talk a little bit about a tool that uh, Dennis Tyson put out uh, for a while. I'm not sure if he's still making these, uh, but this is a very simple uh, balsa stripper that can be used to make strips of balsa, uh, basic single cross section. Uh, the way it works is it has a kind of friction fit uh, piece here that slides in. And if you can kind of see through here, there's a blade and then there's a space. So you can put the balsa uh, piece in there and slide it through and that will get you the size of balsa that you need. Um, this would be a little bit awkward to kind of show, uh, but I will attempt to do so uh, by varying this by pulling this out and being sure it's nice and tight you can make it wider here and you can keep pushing it uh, in uh, all the way up until the point where it's all the way up here and it is uh, basically even with the top so your uh, blade which is just a regular double edge uh, razor blade uh, is basically uh, all the way used so I'll slide this back again and I'll kind of guesstimate that's to be about uh, maybe 45 or 50 thousandths uh, just based on eye. Uh, it actually you benefit here from having something like a popsicle stick or some kind of push thing to be sure it's nice and tight in there. And literally all you do is take a piece of balsa, um, put it up against the plexiglass that's there and slide it. Um, it has this little uh, area here that I like to use to push the balsa up against the plexi and then it just slides right through and you can then get a one square of balsa. What I like about this particular uh, method of doing it is it seems to be very consistent and see this is approximately Oh, I said about 45, between 45 and 50 thousandths, and I'm pretty darn close. It's 47 thousandths. So yeah, this particular tool, um, I use it all the time uh, for making squares of different types, sizes, uh, for propeller uh, edges uh, for the outside of F1D propellers where they're 25,000 square typically. This is uh, the tool I go to because it is consistently accurate, works really well for that. Uh, not even, you know, not, no other tool that I have works as well for that kind of uh, small, fine work. Um, I believe they use three millimeter balsa instead of full one eighth, so you can't quite get a one eighth sheet in here, um, at least not easily. Um, and that is about as thick of balsa as you're going to be able to get through here. It's better for lighter stuff than it is for heavier stuff. Other ones, uh, heavier balsa, you might want to go with a little bit different, a uh, little bit different type of balsa stripper, but for indoor stuff, this is ideal. I'd use it for scale and things as well. Uh, for smaller stuff, it works perfectly. Thanks. Have a good one.